Hello guys, today I'm going to show you my new dashboard cam. This one is from um, AliExpress, Tissot Phone. It's a very nice one. It has four cameras, left, right, front, and you have a separate one for the rear. Let's uh, start by an unboxing. The camera came in this uh, nice uh, retail box, which you just slide off, and then you get this one. So, let's see what's inside it. Very nice retail box. It includes an excellent Lexar 125 gigabyte SD card. Fantastic. User manual in different languages. And you have the camera itself. Three cameras, one front, two on each side, and you have connection on the top to the rear one. We will get back to that. Look at that. Fantastic. And under the first plastic cover you have a bag with a free gift. Here you also have the polarizer filter, which fits of course on the front here. That is an excellent option. Not many cameras have this one, so this one is really good to, to um, remove the glare in the window. We will take a look at that when I install it in the car. Let's take a closer look at the lens. This one is just a loose cap with a... Yes, it is rubberized inside, so it makes good friction with the, with the lens. And this one is the polarizer. It's supposed to be screwed on here. Let's see if that is possible. Yes, that works just fine. And when the red ring are screwed to it, you can still move the outer ring. There are uh, some reels, friction reel. I know it's not so good to see, but there's a plastic tab you can see if I twist it. Yeah. But the red one is still locked to the lens uh, something. With this one, you get a polarized image. I don't know if it's possible to see it through here, but let's give it a try. Oh, I think it's hard. It works better when you, when you are going to test it on the windscreen. Like this one, just friction, just push it in place. And there it is. And then you can turn the... Oh, here you can see it, it says... Fantastic! And under this one you have a charger cable with a cigarette connector. USB-C, 19 degree angle. You have a suction cup for the camera. And you have the rear camera. Let's see if I can. Take this one out. Very nice one, very nice. Adjustable in this direction. And it came with a 3M glue pad to secure it. This must be inside the car, it's not waterproof. And it's a tiny four pin TRRS, 2.5 millimeter, I think this one is. Which of course that fits excellent on top of the camera. Beautiful. The rear camera has a very smart um, connector which uh, makes it easier to put it through holes and everything in the car. It has a small uh, groove and a small notch inside here, so it only fits one way around. Yeah, hopefully it's possible to see this.
Here we go. I also uh, ordered the um, radar and hard wiring kit because in my car I don't want to use this one. I want to use a permanent one. So inside that kit you get this one. This is the radar which you glue it to the window. Has a front and a back. Switch with three sensitivities. One, two and zero. And on the side here it has what I think it's a voltage saver, battery saver. It will turn itself off when it reaches these voltages. The rudder itself, which is supposed to point forward in the car like this, you can also turn it. Yeah. Excellent. And this one came with pre mounted fuses for modern cars. I will use these on my Vanagon, so I need to cut them off. And they are also marked with the bat for a constant voltage. And you have one here which is ACC for the ignition. And then of course ground for this one. It also came with a short USB-C to USB-C with a 90 degree angle to use between between the camera and the radar because this one is then powering the camera. We will get back to that of course. In the free gift bag you get some nice accessories. You have uh, several glue pads. This uh, small one is for the rear camera and you get two big ones for the main camera and oh you have two of course two of this for the rear and you have five pieces of uh, cable yes you have some tape on the back side and you can hook the cable inside yeah you understand five of those wipes to wipe off the window before you glue them and you have three static foils for the camera. This one goes on the window first and then the camera afterwards. Oh it starts raining. Listen to that. USB A to USB C. You have a micro USB port. No not USB micro cord card reader to a USB A so you can take the card and put it inside here and read it on your computer. Small uh, tool to open the plastic in your car so you can insert the uh, cables when you're going to put it inside. And then the excellent polarizer filter which is very good to have on a on the camera that is supposed to be installed on the dashboard. Yes. All good. Then we shall take a look, quick look at this uh, mounting hardware. You have some hooks. They fit inside this, uh, what do you call it? Slit grooves. I don't know the name of this. And like this. The camera itself, it can be adjusted two ways up and down and sideways. Push it down. And then you can take the suction cup, which has the same looking features. Just insert it into the two grooves, slits, something, and push it up. And there it is. Yes. Let's start by inserting the SD card. It only fits one way around. So just give it a and then you heard a nice click and it is in place. Look at that big screen. <laughs> Amazingly nice. The side cameras can be turned all the way around and you can turn them with some clicks. No clicks. Up and down.
fantastic, eh? Let's uh, wire it up to my power supply and see how it's working inside the house. Okay, everything is wired up. Let's uh, push it on and see how it looks like. Ah, here we go. Get the welcoming screen. Ah, you need to format the card, it says. Let me do that before we continue. To format the card, it's rather easy. You just press the M button. And you get the menu, and you see it's down here. It is not a touch screen, so you need to use the R2 arrows. There we go, and then you press OK. And then it says yes or no, let's see. No, yes, and OK. Formatting SD card processing. Completed. Excellent. Let's take a quick walkthrough through the menus. You start the menus by pressing the M, and then it starts by the Wi-Fi sign. You just press the arrows to change, front to back, and press OK to enter. And then you press the arrows again to change between everything, and OK to enter. That was the Wi-Fi. ELED, you can put them on off, the ELED is on the side cameras, on here. And let's put that to off for now. Next one, loop recording, pressing OK. Then you can change how long each clip you want it to be. And again, you can use the arrows, front to back, or go around. Next one, G sensor, that is the shock sensor. You can set it to off, high, middle and low. Let's put this one on middle, OK. Language. You have a lot of languages. Yeah, you can see. I will keep the English one. We're going to volume. Here you can set the volume. The volume is really loud, so I have put mine down to 10%. Screen saver. If you want to screen, <laughs> turn the screen off. One minute, three minutes, or off when the screen is recording. I want to have the screen on, so I press to off. Screen saver is off, that will mean that the screen is on. Clock settings, yeah, basic. 23, 24, and then press OK to change between. Format the card, I don't want to do that now, so no, and you can reset. No, and you have one more menu. Press the M button again, and you get to the GPS. Now I'm inside a building, so a beton building, so it's no GPS coverage here. Speed adjustment. You can compare it with a GPS, and you can adjust it so it is on pair with the GPS. It was set to five kilometers, so it will be on that for now. Speed unit, you can change to kilometers an hour, miles per hour. Or you can make it off. You will see this in the display on the camera. Time zone, okay, mine is uh, plus one. Here we have it, okay. Daylight saving, on, yes, okay. And that's it for the menus. Here you can see the kilometers. Here you have the symbol for the Wi-Fi. This is for the GPS. Is it uh, reading the satellite? Satellite. And you have a microphone which you also can turn on off by pressing one of these buttons. There you have it. There we have it off. And long press this one, and it should be back on. 2K. 
on the front camera and 180p on the side cameras and on the rear I think. To get to the playback menu you just press and hold the M button and here we go and then you can select your files you see it's jumping I don't have so much files there so it's not so interesting but uh, anyway you get four pages and you press OK to check the files see the playback Yes. I also have some settings. Normal video, event video. Camera ID. I think you can have four cameras. I don't know exactly what this is meaning. You can delete the files. Yes. and you can protect the file. And you are back on. Okay, after I formatted the card, we just did a restart. Everything starts to working. And on this button, you see you have four cameras here. You can see this is the reverse camera. And you have the side camera here, and the other one here, and the main camera in front here. It's pointing that way. And with this button, you can change the view. If you like the main camera to be on the screen all the time, or you can have three cameras the rear, the main, and no, oh, it's only the rear on the main. And here we have only the rear camera. That is nice. And then you have one side, it looks like this one, yes, this one. And then you have the other side, which is here, yes. And then you have the front and the rear no not the rear on the side there front and side and now you have what do we have okay we are back on all four cameras so this is a button which is very nice to change the view front and you have the rear in a small window but you have the main in the big one and only the rear side, this one, and the side, this one, and then split screen, front camera, and the side camera, and the other side camera. No rear, and then we have all four again. Amazingly nice. Uh, let's test uh, the low voltage protection. I will set it to the top level, which is 12.2 volt. And I will put this one to 12 volt. It will take approximately one minute and the system will shut off. And uh, after that, it will not trigger again, hopefully. Let's wait and see. And here we go. Turn off. Let's see if the radar is working. It's tried to start, but did not. So the voltage protection is working. Let's uh, raise the voltage again. 13 volt. And there we are back on. 
No. It did try to start, but... Now we are working. And here we go. So, what it protection is working. Fantastic. We can do it one more time and put it to 11.8. And let's put this one to 11.5. Let's see how that works. And there we are. Turns itself off. Let's see if the radar will start up. It tries. Yes, it did start up. And it shut down again. Voltage too low. Let's put it back on. Uh, Twelve point five. Let's wait to see if it's and there we go again. It's working. Fantastic. Okay guys, that was the quick unboxing and a quick run through to the menu on the TS Fong dashboard camera with four cameras. It should be nice to have in the Vanagon. <laughs> uh, the installation menu will menu video will come uh, a little later, so make sure you subscribe and press the bell. Is that the YouTuber say to get notifications? See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.